Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to record the speaker output in Linux. So to start off, you're going to need to install the Audacity program. It's the best one for the job. And alongside Audacity, you're also going to want to use Pavu Control. So I'm using it right now to record my narration right now but it also can be used to modify the sound system in general. So to start off recording, we're gonna get something that makes sound. And uh, I'm going to open up Spotify. I'm not gonna play it back, because it's gonna be muted. But I'm gonna open up Spotify and uh, go to a song that I was listening to recently played, let's say. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the record button and it's just recording. It's not getting anything, it's just recording. And I'm gonna go back to the audio manager, the Pavu control tool, go to the recording tab. And as I can see, this is recording my uh, my sound right now. Now, I have a headset and the headset is the main sound device right now. So it's gonna be the USB device. So for it to normally record it, and it can pick up the microphone from it it would be set to analog, but to set it to record the stereo uh, of the headset itself, the speakers, I would set it to monitor. Now, this is gonna differ between whatever, you know, sound system you're using. So if you're using just the default analog one, as long as it says monitor in front of it, that's all that's important. So like the name of your speaker and then monitor of, that's what you want. And you've gotta let Audacity continue to record while you do that because Audacity does not let you modify the sound input while it's not recording, at least easily. And uh, once you've modified it, just click the start button, press X on it, and then you go back to your sound system. Let's pick a song, any sound song, it doesn't really matter. I was listening to, uh, let's say, Sunshine. Turn it way down, it shouldn't be picked up. Okay, so it's playing and it should be playing correctly. It shouldn't be picked up on my mic. But uh, when I go over here and I click the record button, now that I know that the microphone is set to record through this device, which is the sound device, it's actually recording through Spotify. So now I'm satisfied with my recording, so I press stop, and then I press stop in Audacity. And from here, I can edit the waveform. I can add some effects if I'd like, like, uh, I don't know. Let's reverse it for some reason. And let's do some equalization, because why not? And let's just mess with it. And then when I'm done, I'm like, okay, I'm done with my audio. Alice in Chains test, and I can do Whatever file name I'd like, I want to save it as an MP3, so I can do that and I can save it to the desktop. Click export, and it's going to export the file instantly. And then I have it right here. I can open this with the VLC tool, and I have it here, and it's playing backwards because I edited it that way. But the MP3 file is completely recorded through my speakers, and it's that easy. And just to show you that it worked, I'm going to re-import it just so that you know that I'm not messing around here. It actually does record it and uh, can also continue to edit it if you wanna repair it by reversing it again, it plays normally. I mean, that's just how it works. Just uh, You just need Audacity and the sound manager, the Pavo Control sound manager, and it works very well. Uh, so guys, I gotta get going, but that's just a quick uh, method for recording your speakers on Linux through Pulse Audio and Audacity. Please check the article in the description. We go over it in much more detail than I just showed you here. But uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.